Welcome to St. Joseph Retreat and Conference Center, a ministry supported by the Catholic Ministry Appeal. We've been open here in Tipton, Indiana since September of 2017. Come along and join me as I take you on a tour of some of the major highlights of our beautiful facility. Welcome to the St. Joseph Chapel, the home of our Eucharistic King, Jesus Christ. Our chapel has a beautiful combination of the new and the old. When we look at the front of the chapel, visitors are often attracted to the mural with the angels created by one of the artists from Conrad Schmidt Studios during the restoration of the chapel. Also part of that artwork was the lettering above the statues of Joseph and Mary. So above Mary, the AM for Ave Maria and the SJ for Saint Joseph. But what really attracts people is part of the historic parts. The stained glass windows and their beautiful colors have been part of this chapel since it started in 1957. These windows came from France and were installed, interestingly enough, by French workers. Along the stained glass windows, one can also see the beautiful Stations of the Cross carved of linden wood from Italy and also have been part of the chapel since 1957 when this chapel opened up. Space is always a need for groups coming and one of the benefits of being here at St. Joseph Retreat and Conference Center is the seven meeting rooms that are available on the main floor. Those seven rooms are highlighted by our largest room, the Emmaus Room, which can accommodate 100 people and can be arranged in different ways to help facilitate the need of a particular group. Among the features found in this room are a small hospitality area with a refrigerator and an overhead projector with a large screen, along with a sound system. But another feature that really is attractive is the floor to ceiling windows that look out upon the Immaculate Heart of Mary Courtyard, a scene that can help bring calm and comfort to retreatants during their stay. For dining needs, always important, St. Joe's Retreatant Center is ready to meet your needs there. We have our large St. Benedict Dining Hall, which can accommodate 160 people. For our smaller intimate setting, the St. Bernard Dining Room, the former formal dining room for the Sisters of St. Joseph, is available for groups of up to 24 people for that more intimate setting. Our food and beverage supply is, is managed by Joe and Kelty Domina of Kelty and Company Catering. The two upper floors of St. Joseph Retreat and Conference Center feature 87 rooms with 207 beds, including five accessible rooms. All the rooms are fully air conditioned, have smoke detectors and complimentary Wi-Fi. And each floor also features a hospitality room, a chapel, a kitchenette with a water bottle filling station, and a telephone. This is an example of one of our 26 single twin guest rooms. Each room is furnished with a twin bed, a side table, a desk, and a chair. And the rooms feature one window and an ensuite bathroom. This is one of our 18 double twin guest rooms. Our double rooms combine community and privacy for each guest, as well as a shared bathroom. All of our third floor rooms feature hotel amenities. Being outdoors is another part of the retreat experience here at St. Joseph Retreat Conference Center. And a visitor may find many shrines and grottos located on the grounds. Among them are the St. Therese Grotto, which has been on the ground since 1926. It features a four and a half foot statue of St. Therese made of marble. And an interesting fact is all of these stones have been hauled in by farmers at that time who helped construct this particular grotto. For myself, one of the interesting features too is that this grotto was built at the same time my grandfather's cousin, Father Nicholas Hemmer, was the chaplain here on the grounds of St. Joseph Retreat and Conference Center. It's a place where the students used to love to come and gather and pray or reflect, and we still find that same dynamic happening today with our retreatants. If you come on a retreat, you'd be hard pressed not to find at least one retreat and coming out here, sitting on the bench and just praying and reflecting. It's just one of the wonderful ways to enjoy the great outdoors here at St. Joseph Retreat and Conference Center.